What up, Titans? Titan 99 Sniper here. Welcome back to Red Dead Redemption 2, Part 18. Right now, we are at uh, the city of Rhodes, or town of Rhodes, at the Sheriff's Department to talk to Dutch. He is inside here. Let me turn off my uh, waypoint real quick. Here we go. Dutch, where you at, boy? Of course, of course. Oh. And here is my dear friend, Arthur Callahan. Boy is a hunter. Boy is a killer. Arthur, you've met but not been introduced to Mr. Oh, I'm so sorry. Sheriff. Well, how are you doing, sir? I'm fine. Tough business you boys had. We did? Oh, well, there's no need to pretend with me, sir. Life can be tough. So it can. And no man owes another anything. No, sir. But still, I feel you were hard done by losing your mind. Oh, he's been drinking. But still, here in Rhodes, we have work enough for honest men. Oh, that's some strong stuff. Still, don't seem to be doing you any harm, I guess. Exactly. Whoa. Excuse me a moment. <laughs> <laughs> you, we was moving up in this world. Deputies. You have finally <laughs> lost your mind. Amongst these drunkards, hillbillies, and slavers? Good honest thieves like us. We're bound to be moralizers in a place like this. Oh, Sheriff Gray, you are back. Now listen, sir. There is shine in them woods, though. And it is cost in this county its good name. And the state a whole lot of income. You boys wouldn't mind rooting it out. Maybe we'll make you permanent. I gotta set me down a second. Not a problem, sir. Not a problem at all. You are in safe hands now. And people waste time with the temperance movement. Liquor never dulled a good man's senses. Arthur, you ride with the deputy. Bill and I will follow. Climb on up. Let's go. So we are deputies now. Let's go, boys. How are you? Pretty good. And your friend is behaving himself? Oh, <laughs> yes. I think he's learned his lesson. Congratulations on becoming a temporarily deputized citizen of Scarlet Meadows County. Most towns just get bounty hunters to do their dirty work these days, but Sheriff Gray believes the law should keep the law. Now, I'm sure I don't need to remind you there's a chain of command here. There is? Dang straight there is. This is a dangerous business, but follow my lead and you'll be just fine. Sure. Hey! Archibald wants to remind us he's in charge here. Of course. Who else would be? But you were a big help with them Anderson boys, and I put in a very good word with the sheriff on your behalf. We appreciate that. We rounded up the others soon after. I'm pushing for the... Oh, okay. Myself, but that's by the by. So... So, one of them didn't die. Not just any moonshiners. Braithwaite's. I told you about the Braithwaite's. Pretty sure you did. Old Cotton family had a fortune at one point until, well, a few changes in the labor laws. Now they're dealing in moonshine. We found their stills hidden all over Lemoyne. Quick as we destroy one, another one pops up. You could call it a pitiful fall from grace, if they had any grace to start with. I have no time for tax dodgers. Not to mention the fact that Catherine Braithwaite has a rather expensive interest in thoroughbred horses to maintain. But I heard something about it being gold these families were fighting over. Well, that's the rumor. But the Greys and the Braithwaites think the others stole the fortune from them. But it happened so long ago, I don't know for sure if it's true. Must be tough being rich, huh? <laughs> so I imagine. That badge rather suits you, Mr. W. Yes. I thought so, too. Does it feel good to be back at it, serving your country? I Whoa. wouldn't go there. Whoa! 
Hold up. Yeah. Yeah, I do. There's dead bodies because I can see X's on there. These damn flies. I swear they got it in for me. You could try washing once in a while. You think he'll get mad if I uh, steal from them? Keep your eyes open. No, there's two dead bodies. No, this must have happened recently. Mm. Hey, come have a look at this. Look, suit and tie. One bullet clean through the forehead. Well, my money says this is the handiwork of a gang called the Lemoyne Raiders. Yeah, I've run into them. Let's see if we've got any identification. Okay. We should get going. I'll send someone over here later to clean this up. We getting back on? No, no, no. I'm right here with you. Oh, uh. Oh. There we go. Would you mind taking the reins? I want to have a look at these papers. Sure. I'll direct you. Okay. Frederick Mitchell, Lemoyne State Legislator. Poor feller. Yes, this certainly smacks of the Raiders to me. Bunch of ex-army free staters without an ounce of respect for the law. That's seven government officials they've murdered this year alone. Yep. Not the nicest fellas in my experience. Oh, and I know the Braithwaites are in business with them. No shame. Trash begets trash, my Uncle Reginald used to say. Go right at the crossroads. He had a few stories, let me tell you town preacher and town sheriff but drink a sailor under the table before breakfast he had one tiny hand like a child's on the end of a grown man's arm They're right <laughs> here. but anyway this tells you what kind of people the braithwaites are selling moonshine to murderers i tell folks don't even speak to him don't even look him in the eye i'm sure i wouldn't Hello. Here we are. So what was I saying? Something about the Braithwaite's, I think. Even saying that word makes me sick. Now, anyone we find here, we bring in alive, understood? Round them up, then take this operation down for good. Come on. Let's see what we're doing. I'm the only one not wearing a hat. Oh. I am ready. See? See? What did I tell you, boys? What did I say? I said this place was crawling with vermin, and we just found ourselves the rat's nest par excellence, as they say in Paris. My aunt, she went to Paris back in 78. Oh, handle this. Well, the way I see Actually, let my friend here decide. He doesn't have your fine way with words, but he is definitely the man for the job. Let's split up. Arthur and Bill, me and Archibald. You boys want right or left? Let's go left. We'll take the left. Let's stop these filthy, degenerate tax dodgers. The chief. Remember what he said. We need them alive. Let's just knock them out and then tie them up. Got it, Deputy Williamson. See one by the bridge over there? You 
you take this one, Bill. With pleasure. Come on, Bill, you got this. Oh, oh nice. <laughs> nice. Got them all. That was actually too easy. Just drop him with the others. I think that's it. Well, what do we do now? We better destroy all this. Any of your boys can handle explosives? Sure. Anyone but him. So, I think you're real funny, don't you? Tell me about these. <laughs> that is the last oh. time I'll mention it, I swear. Yeah, I'm sure. Well, um... Dynamite! Let's have some fun here. Fire in the hole! Oh shit, run, 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 run. have a rifle all I have is a pistol guys didn't last long. Come on. There's so many of them. Pop up. What? That should be all of them, right? No, there's more. I don't see any more. Do you? No. No. Fine by me. Alright guys, this is where I am going to search everybody here. So I'll see you guys when we get to Dutch. Alrighty, we made it back. Collected everything I needed. Well done. <laughs> well, forgive me, but me and my men must return to our lives. Ah, seems like we failed to destroy the last of the moonshine. 
Sure. Would you like us to? Well, I normally take it. For personal consumption, it's sort of part of the job. But I better get back home. Why don't I just take a jug or two and leave you boys the rest to show that there's no hard feelings on account of the war? We are all Americans. Of course. But my cousin, Webster. He used to say some of us is not as American as others, if you know what I mean. Only I didn't, quite. Come on, you degenerate, no good, white trash, hillbilly piece of scum. I know you, Billy Lime. Finally. You've always been a Finally. piece of crap. Come on, move it. We have a life right. on the land so stupid, a backwater so backwards that even we are like geniuses. <laughs> Bill, get this stuff out of here. Come on, you ride with me. Okay. Hoo-hoo, man, we got enough to party on tonight. Yes, show it to Hosea. I'm sure he can find a use for it. Bit of trouble back there, Arthur? Ain't there always. From what they was yelling, I think they were the buyers. Old Archibald didn't ask too many questions, so neither should we. I ain't planning to. That was worth the effort, though. Deputized and hiding in plain sight. These lawmen, these two families. I mean, I really think we can play this from all sides. It's got Hosea written all over it. This is starting to sound like the Young Dutch again. What do you mean, Young Dutch? I'm as strong as I have ever been. Hey, you know what? Why don't I race you back? Uh, I'll lose. Let's make this in. Okay, you're on. That's the I'm gonna lose. Okay, on my word. Set, go. Dude, I'm gonna lose. Cause I'm gonna use all my horse's stamina. We all like to have fun around here. Come on, boy. We gotta beat him. See, look, my horse's stamina is going down pretty low. And then he's gonna catch up. Come on, come on. <gasps> We're almost home, I can see the thing. That red barn is close to our home. All right, we're gonna try to slow down a little bit. Get some of our stamina back up. Oh, here he comes. Come on, boy. We're almost home. <laughs> back to your prime. Oh, no. My horse is low on stamina. He's gonna jump if I don't do anything. If I do something. Oh no. Dude, he's catching up too. No! Come on. Victory, boy! And our horse almost <laughs> gave up. I never knew you were quite so good at running away, Oh, I never knew age had slowed you down quite so much. <laughs> well, time is a bastard. When you get to be my age, well, you'll know that better than anything. Be well. I had fun with you today. You're, I was going to say you're like a son to me. But you're more than that. Well, that's all of our missions. Oh, never mind. They gave us more missions. Okay. So, who are our... Uh, Abigail. Ooh. 
Abigail or Bill? <gasps> Looks like Bill and us are gonna rob a bank. I'm in the mood for that. Let me donate some of my stuff and then I will be over Bill. Hey, Arthur. What's going on? No, not yet. Get away from me! I'm not doing your mission. John needs to do something for Dutch now, so Hosea wants you to join him instead. Seems to be a lot going on. You're telling me. Okay, thank you. All right, Bill. What is it? Hi, Mr. Rogers. We got something cooking you might be interested in. Am I gonna like the sound of this? Been cooking since horseshoe, but you went and kicked up all that commotion in Valentine. Now, we was preparing to rob the bank there until you got involved in all that nonsense, and I don't know, I just feel like it's unfinished business. That wasn't my fault. It was just one of them things. Now, how come every time I get in trouble, I'm called a fool and an idiot? But when you get in trouble, oh, it's just one of them things. <laughs> it's a good point, Arthur. <laughs> it's a very good point. <laughs> all right, well, what do y'all want me to do? Hit the goddamn bank with us. <laughs> You really think it's worth going back there? Four of us can hit the bank easy, but I ain't gonna lie to you. There will be law if we linger. And if we're serious? No, just local boys being rounded up and pressed into action. Meaning? If we go in quick and quiet, we can hit it just fine. If there's four of us, I mean. Y'all think it's worth the risk? It's a bank, Arthur. So? Is the take good? According to the fella I met, yes. It's the end of the stock sales. Plenty of money and plenty of people milling about. <sighs> All right, I suppose it's worth taking a look at least. We should wait until the morning. In any case, I need to change out of these rags if I'm gonna be performing. Okay. So, Bill, this better be worth it. Oh, it is. We put a lot of research into this one. I hope so. Imagine how long it would take to do all that kind of research without the internet. Let's go. Oh, dude, we got a new outfit. Hey, Strauss. That man, the debtor, Thomas Downs, apparently he's dead. Dead? Huh. Well, then he didn't seem very well. His wife. I believe he has a wife and child. She will assume the debt, of course. Of course. Then you can head up there and collect. We lent them a lot of money. Okay. Gentlemen, let's go rob ourselves a bank. What's the plan then? Oh, well, we're gonna send Karen on in ahead as a uh, distraction. Then we're just gonna rush on in afterwards. Just a small bank in a little town. Nothing that big in way of security. We just need to bring you along as a uh, insurance policy. Yeah, that sounds about right. Okay. We're about to go rob us a bank. Oh man, I like this outfit. First, before we even go into the bank, I want to get the guns that are needed. Um, do I want a sniper? I'll take a sniper in case it's needed. It's, I like the sniper or the bolt action rifle. They're both really good, but it has a scope. Tell me again about this big can't go wrong plan of yours. Oh, it can go wrong. Anything can once the shooting starts. Well, that's reassuring. Like I said, we'll see how it looks. If we can get in all right, we'll send Miss Jones ahead to the bank. They won't recognize her. I'll show you boys how it's done. What are you thinking this time? I don't know. Fellers always like the lost little girl, but nobody plays a drunken harlot quite like me. Need a should work. Once he's got them distracted, we'll move in. When I was scouting the place the other day, there was only a couple of guards. We deal with them and any customers who are feeling brave. And you always fancy yourself as the vault man, right, Arthur? Now I see why you brought me. Hey, I'm more than willing. Nah, best I do it. Oh. And did Dutch tell you I've also been cooking up some deals with them gray boys? What? No. What kind of deals? See, you don't realize, Morgan. I'm out there putting in the work same as you. I've been drinking with them a couple times now. Seems they're looking for some extra security. 
this bank we really would be slipping thoughts like that and you're one of us no doubt so sure i hope so all right guess we're doing this then Easy. all right we're in valentine Easy. keep it down now we're here Alrighty, let's hope things don't go to shit this time. Man, Valentine has just been a terrible place for the people that live here. We completely messed entire this entire town up. We we like killed a lot of people inside. We're about to rob their bank. Um, I've stolen a couple people's horses. I've had a fight in the bar. This bar over here got shot the hell up. <laughs> That one right there. Oh man, this place is just not good for us. I already robbed from this drugstore. I robbed that drugstore the other day. Here we are. Okay. Get ready. Which one's the bank? Yeah. Go to work. Of course. Is this? Oh, this is the bank. Okay. And follow me, fellers. Okay, no, this is not the bank. 
I never really paid attention. I don't know where the bank is. So, we never decided. Is it lost little girl you want, or the drunken Harlem? Let's do Lost Girl. Uh, I think I'd like to see the little girl lost. So even you long to save the fallen women, eh, Arthur? You break my heart. You really do. <laughs> if you're ready, get going. Good luck, gentlemen. We got this. <laughs> Uh, first, let's put the mask on. Okay, we're going to... Uh, hold on. Wait till she's gone real down. Nah, we're gonna go with the rifle. I was a child, and I don't want to go back to the workhouse. Let's take it off. Okay, never mind. No, wait, 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 I'm not ready. Switch my gun. Too slow. Too goddamn slow. I didn't want to do this. How's it going in there? Too slowly. You better get that door open right now. I'm nearly there. Get a move on. Too slow. God damn it, there's more. The lockbox says now. I, uh, the, the, the manager does that. Uh, I, God damn it. Now what? Guess I'll crack them or blow them up. Keep an eye out. I'll be as quick as I can. Crack them? I don't know how to crack. All right, but you better be quick. You shut the hell up and stay still. Uh, you be able to rotate the safe dial rotation on the last one. Then. Oh my god, I only have one open. Hurry up in there. Hey, watch him there. Don't worry. I see him. How are you getting off? Going as fast as I can. This is I should have blew him up. Okay. Please, let me go. I won't say nothing. I swear. Shut the hell up and stay where you are. Come 
on. There we go. We got one more open. I'll keep a look out at the door. Come on, get everything, get everything. How's it looking there? Good. Told you. Don't count your chickens just yet. Okay. Okay, now that I've been doing it after a little bit, it's kind of easier to do it. Come on, get as much as we can. That's another one cleared. This is looking good. How much longer? Nearly there. Okay. You oh, man. Down. Maybe. Yeah, it's never enough. Well, I am ready to get the hell out of here whenever you are. Come on, we can get more. Come on, we're almost there. Well, one more, one more. Good. We gotta move. Come on, come on, come on, come on. All right, there we go. Come on. Come on, where are you at? Come on. There we go. We got a lot of money. $5,000. Let's go. I think... Uh, I think we're fine. Come on, I'll lead the way. Let's go. Every... They come. All of you count to a hundred and keep your mouth shut. You understand me? Bill, put your gun away. Bill, put your goddamn gun away. You can't just walk around with it out. Shit. I seen that guy at the last second, like about to walk in. All right. Yeah, yeah. Right. Get the hell out of here. Come on, we gotta go. Hey, we got a lot of money out of it. I mean, that's good. Keep moving. Woohoo! Oh my god, he just threw that person off. Wanted dead or alive. Come on, hurry. Are we going? Oh, I can see more of them up ahead. Well, we just stole like $50,000 from them. No, that's a little exaggerated. More like 20, 15, 20,000 we have taken from them. So I don't blame them for not stopping. Shit. More of the sons of bitches. Woo! We need to hurry up and get the hell out of here. Come on. Train.
<laughs> They're gonna give up that easy. I think we lost it. Thank you, gentlemen. That was stupid and dangerous. Thank you, Bill. <laughs> we're alive and we're paid. Yeah. I don't see the problem. Yeah, and that is the problem. <laughs> Bill, Thank this you. is a very good take. That you'll be happy. Even if it did come with a heap of trouble. Ah, it was fun. <laughs> well, maybe you're right. Now, go on, get out of here. I have some other business to attend to. Don't head directly back to camp. And make sure you ain't followed. <sighs> okay. This is down. Right? Oh, I gotta go down there. I thought that was like a side mission I could do. Oh, they changed my outfit. <laughs> What? Murdered him, did I? My husband's not cold in the ground and you've come back here. Archie, I nearly paid off what was owed. Your husband knew the rules when he took that money. Now, I'm real sorry about the way things turned out, but he had a choice. Ain't my fault about the way the world is. He didn't have a choice. He was good and he did good. There wasn't no choice in that. And you've as good as killed him yourself and don't kid yourself. You had a choice. You speak as if killing was something I cared about. You ever wonder about eternity? I should. I hope it's hot and terrible, Mrs. Downs. Otherwise, I'll feel I've been sold a false bill of goods. Now, please, give me that money. <sighs> Poor guy. You got a lazy eye or lack of respect. Which is it, boy? I ain't got no lazy eye. No respect for the lacks of you. <sighs> well, maybe when your mother's finished mourning your father. I'll keep her in black, on your behalf. You think on that, boy? Well, maybe you shall, sir. And maybe other events will transpire. You best stick to them books, because mark my words on this. Vengeance is an idiot's game. Ah, Mrs. Downs, thank you for your punctuality. It's next to godliness, isn't it? That's cleanliness. I'll have to take your word on that. Good day. Ten thousand dollars? What? For the gang share? I can't talk to Strauss about the money. Holy shit! Do we actually have ten thousand dollars in our gang share? Hello, Uncle. Dude, get the fuck out of my way. I have to see if this is true or if I got bullshitted. Oh, evening, Dutch. This is a very good day. You sons. Of bitches. Uh, ladies, gentlemen, a moment. Hold on, Dutch. Thank you. To Miss Karen, Bill, Lenny, Archer. They are doing their jobs. Rest of us, but uh, we should hang our heads in shame. They remembered. To rob the goddamn bank in Valentine. <laughs> rest of us, rest of us are slipping. Pride. Never forget the pride in our work. You four, I salute you. Thank you, Dutch. Now let's upgrade this base and shit. I basically have everything upgraded. All I need, which I can clearly afford now, is our boat, or camp, boat, whatever you want to call it. So we can go fishing. Nice. That's like only $400 off, so that's not even like a chunk. And then we can, um, oh, is that really it? I'll just restock everything. And that's it. I have everything purchased. Huh. Wow. Sweet. Um, we can't upgrade anything else. So I'm going to end the video off here. If you guys enjoyed the video, smash that like button, like, comment, subscribe. For more Red Dead Redemption 2, go follow my Twitter and Instagram down in the description below. And I'll see you guys in the next video.